Madagascar is an island of beauty and fascination. Separated from mainland Africa by millions of years and hundreds of miles, nearly all of the island's endemic biodiversity lives nowhere else on Earth. Lemurs are one such group of animals that live naturally only on Madagascar. Today, we recognize 108 species of these primates that come in different shapes and sizes and use different strategies to survive and thrive in the island's many forested ecosystems. But this wasn't always the case. For much of Earth's history, Madagascar had no lemurs, and it wasn't even an island. For hundreds of millions of years, Madagascar was sandwiched between Africa and India as part of the supercontinent Pangaea. As Pangaea broke up, the continents drifted towards their present configuration, and by 80 million years ago, Madagascar had embraced the island life, making it one of the longest standing islands remaining today. Fast forward some 15 to 20 million years after this, and primate evolution was beginning to take off on mainland Africa. And by chance, a small colony of these early primates got swept out to sea atop a mat of floating vegetation in the middle of a cyclone. Washing serendipitously ashore on Madagascar, these first of lemurs found themselves on an island with numerous habitats they could call home, and no other mammals around to compete for food or space. And so they began a long process of adapting to their new surroundings. Some lemurs became very small and others very big. Some became active at night and others during the day. Some turned to leaf eating and others to fruit. And some ascended to the top of the canopy, while others descended to the forest floor. And lemurs kept adapting because Madagascar kept changing. Indeed, Madagascar was on the move, and for most of lemur history, the island has been drifting north. This northward migration changed the climate and landscapes, especially after Madagascar entered what's called the Trade Wind Belt. The arid, spiny deserts became restricted to the south. The dry deciduous forests crept into the west, and more recently, the rainforests expanded throughout the east. As original habitats shrunk and new habitats emerged, lemurs as a group kept pace. Some species went extinct, but others evolved to fill new niches in emerging forests. Thus, the history of lemurs, the richness of species, and their distribution across Madagascar are all intrinsically linked to the history of the island itself. Is it therefore any wonder that science has always been fascinated by Madagascar's biodiversity? It's a story of luck and chance, but it's also a natural experiment of evolution and ecology that's still unfolding before us today. And there are also still considerable gaps in our knowledge. For many lemurs, especially those small, elusive, and nocturnal ones that are hard to find and even harder to study, we lack understanding of exactly how many species exist today and in which forests they live. This is the very part of the puzzle that our team is working to piece together.